What is up guys, JJ Android of the Drone Syndicate team, bringing you a video on Cyanogema 9 for the Sprint variant of the Galaxy Nexus. So as you can, as you can see, it is a fresh install, I haven't really done anything to the ROM yet, so this is our first boot up, so you can see the boot animation and what it's like. takes a little bit for it to boot up but yeah this ROM is pretty cool it's pretty much stock ice cream sandwich with um, some tweaks those tweaks being a uh, little just some little add-ons I guess that you can do and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today you can see that we got that really nice uh, Santa Javon 9 boot animation I really like it but it does seem to lag but remember this is sort of a pre-beta alpha ROM so don't really got to uh, worry about that. And also, if you've watched my videos before, please tell me if you like this setup better with the towel, like behind with better lighting. Right now I'm in my bathroom, so you can see I got like a mirror right there in the towel, just for a backdrop, I guess. But yeah, tell me if you think my videos um, turn out better because I'm trying to make my videos turn out better for you guys. So it usually takes a little while to first boot up. Um, you'll only know if you're stuck in a boot loop if you didn't wipe your data after uh, before installing the ROM. So as you can see, it just vibrated for me. You can't really see that, but here we go. Uh, welcome. Uh, of course, you're going to have your normal startup stuff. And I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, set this up right now. So... Sign into your Google account. It's going to go ahead and give you your Wi Fi options if the network hasn't connected yet. But uh, yeah, guys, I'll be right back with you guys in just a second. Okay, so here we are after signing in. Um, it's just going to bring you to your normal home screen. So as you can see in the notification bar, uh, you got some signage mod statistics. I just set a cancel that out, and then when it pops up back again, um, I go in and uh, disable it so that's how to get rid of that and yeah this is just stock ice cream sandwich it's supposed to be faster and smoother but uh, yeah let's get straight into the tweaks um, he did remove and add some apps as you can see we're getting some tips right there <laughs> but uh, yeah we do have dev tools DSP manager file manager the stock Android 2.3 music app that's sort of weird as you can see right there so it has that look to it uh... looks like it comes with movie studio super user and terminal emulator so yeah let me uh... just fix my camera really quick here it's uh... tilting down so yeah let's go ahead and get into the tweaks you can just go into your settings straight through the notification bar right there and your tweaks are going to be in launcher and system now launcher, this launcher is Trebuchet, so keep that in mind, it's Trebuchet launcher. You might want to install a home replacement for this, uh, for this ROM. So a navigation bar basically lets you edit the stuff right down here. So you can see I have back home and multitasking. Let me just press next here. You're going to want to go ahead and switch to, to on. So switch the on button on. And what you can do here is you have plus plus and a little menu key right there. So if you press on that plus, you can add some buttons or take away a button. So let's say you want the search button. I can have the search button right there, and then when I turn that off, you can see that I'm going to have a back home multitasking and then a search. Now what I found was pretty cool is that you can actually hold down on these and move them around. So you can always sort of change the order of those apps and you can also add a menu always show button turn that off so now you're gonna have a little menu button right there that you can press um, pretty much anywhere in an app it's usually gonna show up uh, right around here like right up there usually in an app but yeah if you just wanna go home you can see it works just fine Oh, accidentally pressed pressing random buttons here <laughs> You actually press the settings button and then you can enter system settings right from there. 
And then you can go back to system, navigation bar, toggle that on, and you can make that an empty button. And there you go. So I'm actually going to put this as the stock way it was. And there we go. Next thing we have is a notification drawer. And that is pretty much um, what's going to be inside your little notification bar. Um, oh yeah, also you can see that we have some wa some toggles up here. So we have Wi-Fi, GPS, and Bluetooth, as well as a sound toggle. So show power widget, you can toggle that. That's what I just showed you. So you can toggle that power widget, that will no longer show. Or you can toggle that on, I sort of like that. Uh, you can hide the power widget indicators. So that means when you press it, it's not really going to show. Now that's what I was talking about, the statistics. You just click on that and you can uncheck that and it'll get rid of that notification. So I actually like the indicators because it shows me whether it's on or not. That's always an option. Haptic feedback. Oop, accidentally touched on the widget buttons. Haptic feedback, you can um, make it the global settings, which is pretty much the default settings, or you can turn that on or off. Widget buttons. Uh, basically, you can just edit um, all those buttons in there. So let's say you want to add in toggle brightness. It will show up right there, and then I can toggle my brightness from there. So that's um, about it for notification drawer. Status bar, that is what's going to be up in this bar right here. And that, um, you can change the battery status style. So let's say you want it to be a percentage. You can see now that it is a percentage instead of just that normal stock bar that you're going to get with um, most of those other ROMs. Uh, you can change the signal status style, so you can change it to text or hide it. Um, with the text, you can see the signal strength numbers and stuff right there. Let me let my camera focus in on it. Come on, camera. Come on, almost there, camera. Nope, not going to do it. But uh, yeah, you can also toggle brightness control um, through the status bar. So if you just want to hold that down. Actually, don't know how to toggle the brightness through the status bar. You might be able to just tap it. I'm not sure, I haven't really tested that out yet. So yeah, let's go ahead and make this all the default stuff. And there we go. Next thing we got is lock screen. So you can edit your lock screen shortcuts. So let's say uh, you want it to go there. You just, uh, once again, you just go right up there to any blank spot that you want. So let's say I want the top middle. You just click on that and then you can select um, an application, activity, contact, direct dial, direct message. File manager, music playlist, or setting shortcut. Now, personally, I would use an application, and most of the time, I just go straight to my browser. So I would probably make that browser. So now, uh, if I save that, go back, lock my device, and then unlock, you can see right here, browser is right up there. I can just go right up there, and there we go. It launches straight into our browser. Uh, now, let's actually go ahead and see what else we got going for us so go back to system and lock screen go back to there and you can mark it empty and there you go go ahead and press save and you're done with the lock screen now our wallpaper is pretty cool we have some nice live wallpapers we have black hole bubbles hollow spiral magic smoke nexus the popular face beam for ice cream sandwich and spectrum and of course water that's a classic wallpapers you come with uh, standard ice cream sandwich wallpapers so pretty much all your normal ice cream sandwich wallpapers it does come with and you can also choose from your gallery so let's say let's say you want this picture you're just gonna select it and then you can crop it from there however you choose and our last thing in the system is font size we can change it to large as you can see it just changed my font settings or huge and you can see it changed again I personally like it normal and if you want to see it small it's just gonna be extra small so I think normal is the best size for me but if you have trouble seeing then I recommend making it a uh, making it a larger font next thing we have is themes although the placeholder did not add this functionality yet 
So you can't really um, edit out your themes now, but once it's out of beta and alpha, you'll soon be able to um, theme your device better. Now the um, home launcher uh, changes you can do in Trebuchet, you can edit the home screen, so the number of home screens you have. Let's say you want three home screens, and you want that default screen to be two. Go home. Now you're going to have only three home screens, and when you press home, it's going to lead to that um, the second home screen of your device. So let's go ahead and go to settings again, launcher, and as you can see, you can also edit the drawer, and general stuff is just auto-rotate screen. Also, if you go into about phone, you can see that we're running Android 4.0.4. Uh, baseman version FC12, um, all your normal information you would get of the CPU, memory, um, CM9 version date, number, all that stuff. Going to status, battery life on this ROM is actually pretty good. I started out with 80% this morning, I forgot to charge it overnight, so pretty much 100%. Um, starting yesterday, left it on over the night standby time went down 20% in a matter of 12 hours, and at school for 6 hours went down 10%. So, I'm not sure what happened there, that's sort of weird, I actually probably slept more than 6 hours, probably, well, yeah, I guess 12 hours would be nice. So, just wrap it up, I guess, battery life is pretty good on this ROM, and will definitely help in battery life. But if you are interested in getting better battery life on a, on a specific ROM, then I recommend going with something like T-ROM or Jack D Mods ROM. Okay, so yeah guys, thanks for watching. This is CyanogenMod9 for the Spring Galaxy Nexus. Go ahead and thumbs up this video, um, subscribe up top, and go ahead and favorite if you like it even more and you like my videos. So yeah guys, um, once again, thanks for watching. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.